Okay, just here, having a look at some footage here. We're taking some footage of the little wild Solanums. I think it's Solanum nigrum. If you know, you should tell me about it. If it's Solanum nigrum, please share your expertise with us wild food collectors. I would like to know if this is Solanum nigrum. How close can I get it to the camera? I'll pick that one over there. How close can we put it to the camera? There's the flower of a little solanum that grows all over Australia. I don't know if it's an introduced one or a native one. I know that the native Aboriginals, the indigenous people of Australia, they used to eat some sort of uh, solanum berries, ripe ones, according to the wild food books. So that's the flower of the one that grows out this way. Let's have a look. Can we zero in on it? No. How close can we get? That's what the flower looks like anyway. I'll just give lots of footage with this film because wild food people can look at all the botany here. And well the flowers tend to point downwards. There's some green fruits here. Green fruits. Let's just look over here now at those fruits. Let's have a look. They point there. Those ones are green. They're green. They're green. Let's have a look at them. How many? Two, four, six on that bunch. How many on this bunch? Two, four, six. How many on that bunch? Over here. Two, four, six. Looks like they're in bunches of six. Whether that's a rule, I don't know. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not a rule. There's a bunch of three, and there's a bunch of. Oh, I don't know. They're green ones. Let's try and get some close-ups. Anyway, this is a solanum that's growing around this place. And oh, what's this? Oh, look. There's a whole bunch of them. There's a whole bunch. I can't see what I'm filming too well. Two, four, six, seven, eight altogether. They look like Solanum nigrum to me, but I'm no expert. So I thought you could help me decide whether they're Solanum nigrum or not. Let's go and have a look at some more. I'll just look at the flowers again as close as I can get. We're trying to. Five petals, like a tomato flower, I suppose. Someone's using a chainsaw. That's what they look like from behind. Oops, looking at the solanum. Tomato like flowers, and the berries point downwards. black fruits, big black fruits, shiny, glossy. The fruits would point downwards if the branches were up. That's what they look like, the fruits. This plant grows all over Australia in gardens and things. Yes, it's a weed, or considered a weed. Some wild food books consider the berries edible. If the plant were vertical, the, st the fruits would be pointing downwards. That's better. I can't quite see what I'm doing because the glare's so bright out here. That's what the fruits look like. I'm inclined to think this is probably Solanum nigrum. Of course, Wikipedia has information, but as someone called it, someone called it Wikipathetica actually, because if you look at Solanum nigrum, for example, the toxicology uh, section isn't necessarily correct. 
Wikipedia isn't always right about the toxicology of uh, certain plants and things. I used to eat these when I was in Sydney, but I'm a bit... Uh, it's been 20 years since I did all that. Oh no, more 30 years since I did all that wild food stuff around Sydney, so I'm not so game nowadays. There's the fruits anyway. Just showing you, and you can have a good look and decide on the botany for yourself. I'm just giving lots of footage here. You can remix it, cut it up, remix it, do what you like with it. Just showing you what might be Solanum nigrum. I think it's Solanum nigrum. Looks like Solanum nigrum to me. They're pieces of Solanum. Of course, if you're in America, you've got to be more careful because you have deadly nightshade over there and you wouldn't want to get them mixed up. I'm not a botanical, I'm not a botanical expert and nor am I either a wild food expert. I wouldn't recommend you eat these. The green ones are known to be poison. The unripe ones are un poison, like sweet potato, um, like ordinary potatoes can be poison if they're eaten. And, um, yes. You don't eat the green ones. If they're Salanum nigrum, it's said that you can eat the uh, ripe berries. They are juicy. I'll just cut one open with my fingernail without splashing it all over the camera. Look at all those lovely seeds. Can you see that? Probably, <laughs> probably not. There's some lovely seeds. You can see they're related to tomatoes, can't you? All those lovely seeds. Why does my camera intelligently focus at some times <laughs> and not at others? Why is that the case? It's not very satisfying for me as a filmmaker. Look, there are all the seeds. And yes, they're the seeds of what appears to be Solanum nigrum, giving you lots of footage so you can make up your own mind. If you're a botanist, you can look at all this footage and decide if it's Salatum nigrum. There's one that grows in America, isn't there? So is it Salatum americanum or something? I forget. Let's get some more footage anyway for you and you can make up your own mind. Look. Here's some shaky handheld footage, but it's a bit closer, isn't it? I can see the flowers, you can see the flowers a bit closer, if that'll help you to identify this that looks like Solanum nigrum. I'll put them on the ground. I'll play with the focus a little. That's pretty close, isn't it? Can we get a little bit closer? A little bit larger? There. That's what the flowers look like up close. Can we get even closer? That's good, isn't it? That's the flowers up close for botanist friends online. Let's have a look at the back of the flowers. What does the back of them look like? Oops, where are you? I'll put them down on the ground. Let's have a look at the back of them. Where are you? There, having um, that's my trousers as a background. They look a bit better, don't they? That's the back of the flowers. If you want to know what the backs of the flowers look like, that's what the backs of the flowers look like. If we're going to be wild food experts, we want to be able to identify things well, don't we? We do. 
there's a bunch of the berries. These grow all around this way and they grow well and the blackberries look very delicious. There are the berries. Look how nice they look. Looking at the shiny berries. Looking at the berries. I repeat, feel free to remix this film and make it into your own film on Solanum species. Tell us if it's Solanum nigrum. I'm only asking the question, is this definitely Solanum nigrum? I don't want to make any mistakes. Botanists can use a freeze frame, can't they? And examine it carefully. There's the leaf, albeit chewed. There's the back of the leaf. And lots of footage of Solanum nigrum. If I well, what I think is Solanum nigrum. So if it's vertical, the fruits point down. There's some more. I did eat the same type years ago, but I didn't eat them in, in any great number because I was nervous. When you're doing wild food uh, sort of foraging, one can get all that. Like you can try any new berry and suddenly think, oh, I've got this symptom or that symptom. You get frightened. I knew a friend on YouTube who ate, ate one of these and he felt all, <laughs> he felt all dizzy and every, everything and uh, said he broke out into a sweat but it could have been the placebo effect. It could have been, couldn't it? It could have been the placebo, the placebo effect. I can't operate this camera with one hand very well. Yes, it could have been the placebo effect. He was in Sydney. I used to eat them in Sydney. Um, they grow around uh, street lamps and things. Of course, you've got to wash them if dogs have been urinating on them. But you've got to know what you're doing if you're a, a wild food person. And I don't pretend to be an expert. I'm not telling people to go around and eat these because um, I'm not an expert at identification. Green Dean on YouTube is a good ident uh, an expert on Solanum. Solanaceae, and they're very poisonous. There are a lot of poisonous members in the nightshade family, aren't there? There are. There are lots of poisonous members. There are the seeds. So many poisonous members in the nightshade family. You want to know what you're doing? Looking at a piece cut here. Let's just travel along the stem. Flowers on the way. A bunch of little fruits on the way. Just a slow look. Place to take your time when you're studying botany or any other subject.
the green fruits. I tend to get bored with technical details of botany and so on, I suppose because teachers killed, killed any love of science for, for me. But I do like plants and I do like learning about edible fruits and things. And Solanum nigrum is said to be edible by some. So just soak up all this footage. Whoops. That's that branch. There's another branch. Looking at the branches, what does it sort of, it's a bit squarish to the, it feels squarish sort of, sort of squarish to the touch. Sort of got flat sides anyway on some of the stems. And there are the fruits now. Would they be called glossy? I'm not sure because the black fruits sort of do go a bit dullish once they're very ripe, don't they? That's the fruits. Look at the little stars on the back of them. Little two, four, aren't they? Be aren't they beautiful? Look, two, four, four little five-pointed stars. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, they're lovely, aren't they beautiful? A jeweler couldn't have made <laughs> a jeweler couldn't couldn't have made a better fitting than that. So lovely. That's what we're looking at. I can hear the woodcutter. Here's another piece. Square, it feels squarish in my fingers. It feels squarish, the stem. It's a bit angular, the stem. Now, are these one, black ones shiny because they're shiny or because they're a bit wettish? Could be because they're, are they wettish? A bit, yes, they're getting ripened, wettish. I don't know if they're normally so shiny. So, and a bunch of the green stuff here. That one's a bit green. And the final branch for identification. A branch or two, just keep to looking at them. You never know when you might, you know, you just look at anything you can pick up sort of things you never know which view is going to be the right view that will t tell you what you want to know is is there when you're looking at something there's a leaf view and a final look here at this this one's got green fruits on it And they do tend to hang downwards if the plant was vertical, but because it's a sort of hang, the branches hang down, you can't sort of always realise that they do actually hang down, but they do hang down. And so that's my little closing view, my little botanical view on this, what I think is probably Solanum nigrum. If you think it's safe to eat the right berries, please let me know if you're an expert on wild foods. I don't want to make any mistakes. I do recall them being sweet tasting, rather like a tomato. But I don't want to advise it to anyone on YouTube. It's not, I'm not a wild food expert and I'm not qualified to give botanical advice or medical advice. And I advise you to seek medical advice and botanical advice and the advice of wild food experts before you would eat anything that you considered to be Solanum nigrum. So why are these Solanum nigrum? Please let me know if you know. 
After all, if they're edible and available source of food, we should all know about it, shouldn't we? We should. It's handy to know. See ya.